you're listening to the Academy podcast, a podcast for people who can but don't know how. This is where you get actionable steps to turn vague dreams into blissful realities. And I'm your host, Omoshala Victoria Wallaby. So let's get started. Are you at the verge of quitting your online business? Wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, hear this. If you have been struggling to attract clients, I totally understand how that must feel. I was also at the verge of quitting as well because I just felt everything I was doing was making no sense, attracting no clients, and I was so broke and such in a state of despair. But fortunately, I cracked the code. I got the code and I'm about to hand it to you for free. So if you've been struggling to attract clients into your business and you're just at the verge of giving it all up, try this first. Head on over to learn.icandemy.org where I share with you how to make your first $10,000 online as a brand new coach, even if you have no social media following. Yes no huge email list and no raving testimonials yet. Head on over to see how you can create a powerful system that works to attract clients and leads for you on demand. Head on over to learn.icandemy.org to get started. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of the Academy Podcast, the very place to be for you to level up your life and turn those vague dreams into blissful realities. Welcome back. And on today's episode, we're going to be discussing something really interesting, right? So if you've ever wondered or if you've ever asked yourself this question, why do I need a coach? What does a coach do? What is the difference between coaching and therapy? I answer your questions right here, right now. Now, I remember when I first wanted to, when I first had the idea or the desire to create a business, I just went hard. I just went hard. I went online, watched a couple of videos. I'm like, yep, I got a business, (laughs) but far from it. It doesn't really work like that, right? A business, obviously, you learn as you go along. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of iterations, a lot of falling down, landing on your face, getting back up, right? But what cushions the blow that I've realized is hiring a coach. Now, how is a coach different from a therapist, right? In therapy, you are basically working with a healthcare professional. Now, the healthcare professional may not have have had your exact experience, but they understand the medical implications of those experiences. So a therapist is able to help you connect the dots to the past, right? They're able to help us make sense of our past experiences that has led us up to where we are now. Okay, that is therapy. And therapy is a long term process, right? It's an ongoing process because the focus is to connect those dots so that a better future can emerge. In other words, therapists focus on the what. Okay, now in coaching, on the other hand, in my case, when I was trying to build this business and I was falling down several times, I was failing so much, which is inevitable. It's an inevitable part of growth, right? I'm not afraid of failure. Failure is an inevitable part of growing. So I'm not saying you will not fail if you have a coach. But what the coach does, on the other hand, is they help you clarify goals, identify obstacles, and limiting beliefs that you may not know that you have. The focus of the coach is to help you create an action plan to achieve a desired result within a specific time frame. So in other words, the therapist focuses focuses on the what, but the coach focuses on the how. How do we get you to the goal that you want to accomplish, right? And they do that within a specific time frame, okay? A therapist, on the other hand, can work with you throughout a lifetime, okay? But a coach works with you 
based on your goals now. What is your goal now? What are you trying to accomplish? Okay. That's why in my case, when I was trying to learn about online marketing, digital advertising, I had a coach for that specific thing. Okay. When I was trying to learn about product creation, I hired a coach for that specific thing. You see what I mean? And within a specific time frame, we're able to accomplish that goal. So that is the difference between coaching and therapy. Okay, family, let's face it. We've all felt pain. We've suffered the losses. You know what it's like to want something so bad, but not see a part to its accomplishment. The question, however, is, do you know how to pick yourself up and move on despite what has happened? This is what I share with you inside of my new book, Good Medicine for the Crushed Spirit, a practical guide to helping you find purpose when adversity strikes. Inside this book, you will find personal stories, relatable biblical tales, and anecdotes that prove you are never alone in your despair. I will inspire you to turn pain, discomfort, disappointment, or setbacks into something positive that works for you. So if you're ready to change your life in meaningful and purposeful ways, get your copy of this book today and let the transformation begin. Now, there are some similarities, right, in the administration of both. There are some similarities that you that cut across both of them because in a nutshell, both coaching and therapy focuses on getting you unstuck. The whole idea is to move you forward, right, by implementing specific actions that will produce results for you in your life and your business. I hope that makes sense. So don't stay stuck. Hire a coach today. But here are some things that you have to look out for. In as much as I am all up for hiring a coach, you cannot just hire anybody. Number one, you need to find out, do their values align with yours? Number one. Number two, is the outcome that you want, is it something they have achieved for themselves already? That's number two, right? Because if they haven't achieved it, how do they know how to get you there? right? In the case of co- of coaching, right? So you need to understand those are important things. I remember when I got started, the first coach I hired, you know, was a single lady. She was not married at the time, didn't have any kids. And I hear I'm a mom with three children, you know, and a whole husband married. And I'm trying to build this business. And I was working full time. This other coach was not working. Obviously, she, she, she had, her business was sufficient enough for her to not work. But what I realized is a lot of the strategies that I was being told to implement, they were great strategies, by the way, but did not fit my lifestyle. Why? Because there were a lot of missimilarities in there. When I got around to hiring another coach who also was a mom like me, married like me, this other coach understood my lifestyle better. Therefore, the strategies in terms of the delivery was different. You get my point. So it's important that you look out for those things when you're hiring a coach. That's number one. Number two, do they really care about you? That is something that is lacking in this industry, in this coaching industry. And it breaks my heart sometimes. It makes me ashamed to even call myself a coach sometimes because I see that this title of coach is getting a bad rap because people are just in for the money nowadays, you know, uh, they're all up for, you know, let's uh, automate everything. And I get that. Automation is an inevitable part of any business that will be successful. However, it should not remove that element of care because at the end of the day, we are dealing with human beings. We are not dealing with numbers. As some people will say, what is your number? How many do you have on your email list? These are real people with real emotions and real feelings, not just a number right? In as much as the numbers are important, you know, in order for us to measure the metrics of the growth of success in our business, I am more for how many lives am I impacting? Are these people better than they were yesterday? And the money will always reflect that as well. So we should not neglect the care for the money. Both can go simultaneously. So that's another thing. And this is a word to us coaches, by the way. Now, on the other hand, if you're looking at hiring a coach, you need to try and understand, does this person care about me? That's really vital. Are they rooting for me? Because I'm seeing this trend a lot nowadays in the coaching business where people will tell you, oh, they charge you a premium. And and I'm talking premium in the excess of thousands of dollars. And they don't, they can't even give you an hour of their time. Ridiculous. They're too big for your presence, but not too big for your money. 
It breaks my heart. And this is why we must never get caught up in the hype of, oh, this coach has 100,000 members in their Facebook group. What does that make you? Just another number. It is not about the size of their audience. It is, does this coach still care about me? Are they still willing? Do I still have their ears? Those are the things that I look out for. The other coach I had is, was nowhere as big as the first, but I promise you that was the best, 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 best investment that I ever made in my business because of the heart. I could see the care. I could see the sincerity. I could see the genuineness and I could see that she was willing to be present, generous with her time as well. So before you hire your coach, make sure that you look for all of these things in there before you go ahead. And speaking of coaching, have you joined us inside of our mogul mindset? If you have been thinking, feeling stuck, feeling like you're just on the edge, you know there's something more to come, but you've just been on the, on the edge of the fence. We care about you here at Academy. We care about you. We're always rooting for you. We see you. We hear you. So that's why I want to invite you to join us inside of our mogul mindset program. It is not just a course. This is a program where we work with you to make sure that you go, you level up your mindset, you learn how to create opportunities, you know how to measure growth, the right growth metrics, you unlock miracles, and you attain a state of true personal liberty. So join us instead of Mogul Mindset Program. The link will be somewhere beneath this episode. And until the next time, keep on shining. This episode is sponsored by our very own Mogul Mindset Training. Are you ready to embrace new experiences, see opportunities where you thought there was none, and totally surprise yourself? Because you can by unleashing the power of your mind. Mogul Mindset System is a five-step system that helps you retrain your mind to work with you and not against you. So you can awaken your inner giant, 10x your impact, your income, and become truly unstoppable. The truth is, you, my friend, have a superpower, your creative genius. And I'm here to make that power multiply many fold so you can get past fear, self-doubt, and finally start working and thriving in your life and business. Ready to unleash your superpowers? I thought you would. Head over to mogul.icandemy.org. That's M-O-G-U-L dot I-C-A-N-D-E-M-Y dot O-R-G to learn more. So there you have it. Thank you so much for listening. And for more content like this, follow us on our social media handles. On Facebook, it's at Icandemy, the Facebook page. On Instagram, it's at Icandemy. Or come say hello over on my personal page. On Instagram, it's at Omoshala Speaks. On Facebook, it's Victoria Wallaby. Feel free to reach out, introduce yourself, say hello. I love meeting you. And if you have any stories that you feel will inspire another woman to action. I want to hear from you. I really do. I love hearing from you. Send me an email to hello at icandemy.org. So it's hello at I-C-A-N-D-E-M-Y dot O-R-G.